Hey, this is Flo and welcome back to Advent of Packages. In today's video we will look at a very popular but still extremely useful package that you can actually still use even though a similar feature has been rolled out with ThriftUI 3. And the package that I'm talking about is of course SD Web Image. There is the regular SD Web Image package for UI Kit, and then there's SD Web Image Swift UI, which we will look at into this video, which is the Swift UI port for it. And basically, this package allows you to display images based on a URL. It also has a bunch of, bunch of different um, yeah, support types for uh, animations and so on. We will just look at a very simple static image. You might say, okay, um, this functionality is already baked in in SwiftUI 3 with the async image and that's partially correct. If you want to check out async image, you can check out my video on that um, where I explain how it works and how you can use it in your uh, apps starting with iOS 15, which is now out. But as the web image SwiftUI is still very popular in apps that need backward support for iOS 14, iOS 13 even, and it also has a bunch of yeah, more advanced features compared to async image. For example, it caches the image locally. Okay, so as always, um, I have already imported or added the package as a dependency to my Xcode project, so we don't need to do that. I will just show you how you can use it and then you can look into the customization yourself by looking into the documentation. So as always, we need to import as the web image Swift UI, and then in our content view, Let's just remove the text and instead let's add a web image. Open parentheses, you can see there's a bunch of different options here. I will just show you the easiest one where you can pass in a URL. And the great thing here is you can actually pass in an optional URL. You might uh, already know this, but if you construct a URL from a string, you already always get an optional URL and here you don't even need to unwrap that. So for the sake of this video, I have grabbed an image URL from Unsplash. Thank you for providing such great images. We will just use that here. And then you can um, yeah, use the web image very similar to the standard SwiftUI image. So first of all, if you want to change its size, you need to say resizable. And then you can just uh, yeah, change the aspect ratio. So let's say scale to fill. And then you can also um, change the frame. So let's say, let's make it 200 by 200. Now there's one very in important uh, thing here. If you have the aspect ratio of aspect fill, then your image will actually stretch out of its bounds. And to make sure that you understand what I mean, let's actually add a border of color red to this web image. And let's load it up in the simulator and have a look at what happens. So the simulator just launched and the image loaded and you can see that the image actually stretches outside of the frame that we gave it. And that's because of this aspect ratio of fill. And if you don't want it to stretch outside of the frame, there is a very easy fix that you can do. You can just say clipped, so clip it to the frame. And then you can see everything outside of the views frame is just cut off. So this is a very important, but also very handy trick. You need to remember this when working with web image. It often stretches outside of the views frame to show the whole image. And if you don't want it, you need to clip it either using the dot clip modifier or use the dot clipped shape, clip shape. And you can specify a shape like rectangle, rounded rectangle, circle, or whatever you want it to be. Okay, that's it for me. I hope you will use this package. I'm pretty sure that you will use it in one of your apps if you need backward support for iOS 14 or 13. All right, then that's it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.